Um, obviously today we were very excited to win the, uh, the overall Dame Award for the new Ocean Signal uh, PLB3. It's a product that we've been working on for roughly two years now, um, trying to put the AIS frequency along with 406 megahertz and 121 and return link service and kind of all of the features into one compact feature that we can actually fit inside of a inflatable life jacket was, was no small feat for our engineers. Um, Unfortunately, my engineers that we wanted here are up at the Dame Theater doing a second interview because we didn't realize the timing of all of this. Um, but they'll also be here this afternoon if you want to come back and talk with any of them. But um, yeah, the beauty of the PLB3 obviously fits inside your life jacket. When your life jacket automatically inflates, uh, the beacon will automatically deploy the antenna and activate. At that point, the AIS signal is transmitting. So any boat within a VHF range will have that uh, distress message so they can come to the rescue. Uh, additionally, it has the 406 megahertz with the GNSS going uh, that's selling worldwide satellites that you need help. Um, the additional feature is we also have the return link service. So as uh, the worldwide search and rescue gets your distress message, they're also interrogating the beacon back. A blue light will start to flash that will let the user know that search and rescue has uh, received the message and that help is on the way. Um, but really, in, in years past with PLBs, you're a good, you could, with GNSS, you could get to within 100 meters of that, of the beacon, uh, and the homing, you know, homing frequency will obviously bring them directly to you. Uh, but now with it, the addition of AIS, it really brings the search radius down to about 10 meters uh, of that user. So uh, any, any vessel in the area um, now can, can locate that that survivor a whole lot faster. So it's a, a product that we've been asked for for roughly five years. Um, there's quite the regulatory process that we had to go through. Um, AIS uh, have their own regulations. EPIRBs and PLBs have their own regulations. Um, so for years it took our engineering staff uh, time to sit on all these committees, um, write the specifications of how a product like this should work. Um, and we're, ple we're pleased to have the, the first cost of SR set approved. And on Friday, we actually received our RED approval in Europe. Uh, so the product will start shipping uh, probably next week uh, throughout Europe. Um, we're just waiting on the Coast Guard approval uh, for the United States and Canada. So we expect all of that by the end of the year. Um, in the, for what you'll see is we do actually have two versions. Um, we have an ACR version as well. Uh, the ACR version is, so if we have any US editors here, this is the product you'll actually be writing about. Uh, the Ocean Signal product will stay in Europe, uh, Europe, Africa, the Middle East. Uh, the ACR product will be sold in North, North and South America. Uh, so we're same, same product, just rebranded.